Hi, I'm John Ruther, owner of North Star Motorsports in Chicago. At North Star, we are the original racing resource where we've been selling auto racing safety equipment for over 20 years. Um, and I've been racing a lot longer than that. So we know quite a bit about auto racing safety equipment. Um, today, as part of our video series that we uh, produce to help educate our customers about some of the products we sell, I'd like to introduce and talk about the Bell GTX-3 uh, composite helmet. This helmet, being composite, is made from three different materials. It's got uh, carbon fiber, Kevlar, and some fiberglass in it. So it's exceptionally lightweight. It weighs two pounds, 15 ounces in a size medium. So in my book, anything under three pounds is a pretty lightweight helmet. Um, and this helmet, being one of Bell's Pro Series helmets, does have their upgraded gray Nomex, full Nomex interior in it. It has a dust shield underneath the front part to keep debris and dust and, and uh, that kind of thing from coming up in the visor area on the helmet while you're driving. It also has the Kevlar chin strap, which is mandatory in the Snell SA 2015 uh, specification. Um, the helmet does have mounting po uh, place with a flat flange for your head and neck restraint post that goes on the side of the helmet. Um, this helmet, when it was designed, was primarily designed for use in um, dirt track situations. To that end, uh, it doesn't have forehead vents, which are typical on many helmets, doesn't have any holes in the top for additional venting, because in a dirt track situation, those would just get packed full of dirt and they're not going to work anyway. The vents on the side of the chin bar actually face to the rear. They're very effective, but they don't pack full of dirt because they're not facing forward. Um, and the back of the helmet, they do have two exhaust vents. So as the air goes over the top of the helmet and over this standard uh, little duct spoiler on the back, uh, this spoiler actually creates a low pressure area and actually creates a vacuum so it helps suck the hot air up from around your head. Uh, the helmet also does have a duck bill on the front, and um, so it's very good in an open car that could be used on dirt. You could also use it on pavement, too. I have a lot of customers that run this helmet in a formula car situation because it's got a very ni narrow eye opening, which is primarily uh, what you would use in a, uh, an open cockpit car. Um, the other nice feature about this helmet, it comes with a visor that's a, a dual pane visor. So it's got two pieces of polycarbonate that are bonded together and there's dead airspace between the two to keep the helmet from the visor from fogging while you're driving. So um, and again the visor, um, they're, they're available in a host of colors, light tint, uh, dark smoke, um, mirrored visors as well as amber. So all of those visors are available in this uh, dual pane configuration. Um, this helmet, uh, in my opinion, is just a terrific helmet for, with all the features that are on it, um, this helmet's seven in the $730 price range currently, and um, being composite, it weighs just less, less than three pounds. I mean, I think it's a home run. And um, we sell quite a few of these to uh, people that are doing open cockpit type racing, and I think it's a very, very nice helmet. Um, it comes in the standard white, or it comes in matte black, and they do also make this helmet available in a full carbon version as well. It's significantly more expensive, but it's, and it's lighter yet even than this one. So it's a great helmet as well. So if you have any questions, give us a call at North Star Motorsports, 800-356-2080 or go to our website at northstarmotorsports.com uh, or stop by our store in Barrington, Illinois. We have uh, lots of safety equipment on display. Be happy to show it to you and talk to you about this helmet or anything else that we have. So thanks again for watching.